Due to an uptick in cases in Shawnee County, the Shawnee County Health Department announced some changes today to the rules on mass gatherings. New rules will take effect this coming Monday, and they will change the limit of people that can attend indoor events from 45 people to 25. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live in North Topeka, where tonight the local Big Brothers Big Sisters organization was able to hold a special fundraiser before this change goes into effect. Dan? Yeah, Brooke, the Big Brothers Big Sisters had to jump through a lot of hoops to be able to hold this event tonight. They wanted to follow every precaution to make sure people were safe. But if this event was held next weekend, they would have had to make some last minute changes. Tonight was a pretty unfamiliar sight, a fundraiser actually being held in person. Eric Maydu with Big Brothers Big Sisters and the man in charge of the event says they did everything possible to make sure everyone in attendance stayed safe. They took temperatures when people walked in and masks were required when people weren't at their table. Now pulling this off took a lot of adapting for Maydu. We've made adjustments um, no less than half a dozen times from the, from the inception of this event until now to make sure people are safe, we're spread out, and, and doing what we can to keep people safe. The event had a great turnout. People say it was refreshing to be able to get a little back to normal and help a local nonprofit. It's great to get out, especially on a Friday night when the weather's great, especially for a great cause for Big Brothers Big Sisters. Starting on Monday, there would have had to be some changes to host this event. Inside, people would only be able to be in groups of 25, and outside, the groups would be a max of 45, and those groups would not be able to interact with each other. Everybody's looking at it as to what they can do while still creating an experience that's fun for people and safe for people. Maydu says he's not sure what future events will look like, especially since rules and guidelines change so frequently. And again, those changes take effect Monday morning at midnight. Live in Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News.